help me. <laughs> Mayday. I'm having a bad day, but I'm filming it anyway and I will tell you all about it. <laughs> Once I'm out there in the sun because I haven't seen the sun today, which is probably the reason. Alrighty then, I made it outside, it's 4 p.m. 4 or 5. I've been working on my t-shirt shop, so I've done something, but I have not accomplished much today. I had a really big Saturday and also Thursday and Friday were busy with an annoying gig that was far away. But anyway, it's all done now. But I didn't sleep much the last few nights because it is still an adjustment having someone there in my bed who doesn't need as much sleep as I do yeah which shouldn't be a problem but for some reason it is a problem where am i going i think i need to go to priceland to buy myself nice things so it's definitely an, an adjustment after being single for so long and now having a full-on relationship which is awesome because he's awesome yeah so it's not it's not about that it's just it's all new and different so i don't know there's just some girl walking past. She's complaining a lot. Reminds me of me this morning. <laughs> so yeah, I woke up very, very grumpy and complaining. And the boyfriend was so nice and sweet and understanding and trying to lift my spirits. And telling me sort of that, yeah, if I believe that I need nine hours of sleep and otherwise everything will be horrible, then of course it will be like this. And he has a point. But the problem is that I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't know. Is it possible that people, some people just need more sleep than others? Tell me in the comments. Or is it just a belief? I almost got killed here. The sidewalk. So this is what I'm trying to figure out. But I'm also trying to figure out, should I go down to the water? Because that always makes me happy before it gets dark. Let's do it, guys. I will take you to my happy place. And then there's still time to go shopping afterwards, I think. Unless they're closing, let's check. Open until six, so we are fine. Okay, so here's a little park, which is not very nice, but we've got markets here in Potts Point on Saturdays and lots of ibises. Hello, ibis. So yeah, here there's markets on Saturdays. There is the famous fountain here in the back. This is where the ibises poop. <laughs> yeah, it's not the prettiest park. But we've got the iconic Potts Point fountain. We are heading past the police station. There it is. This is why Potts Point is actually very safe because there's always police around. Let's go and see the water, shall we? So I'm actually running now to catch the end of the sunset. <laughs> Winter sun, you know, it sets too early. We've got some cool shops here. And I can see the water over there. That always puts me in a better mood. I am actually in a much better mood. Like I was so grumpy in the morning when I woke up. So yeah, when I finally managed to get out of bed, um, the boyfriend was already practicing guitar in the living room. And I was so grumpy because I was questioning things because when I don't sleep well, and I just don't sleep well if there's someone getting up early next to me, like I hear it and I feel like I should also get up and then the guilt that I should be awake. It's a beautiful day. Hello, birdie. You're cute, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the guilt that I should be awake and doing stuff. It's a childhood trauma, trauma because we were always told as kids that like, we have to get up because we're wasting the day otherwise. So yeah, maybe I should get over all those, all those things. And I mean, I have to say, so first of all, to finish that, and then he was like so, 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 so sweet. 
And then as soon as he, um, as we spoke and I saw him when I got up, he was, he's just so cute and, and he makes me happy. Even though I was grumpy and I took it out on him a little bit, but he was super understanding because he knows now. That's the one thing, that's the problem that we have. We said we're having problems in the bedroom, but not, not those sort of problems. The problem is that, yeah, I need to sleep more than him. We will find an arrangement. And, ah yeah, we've also been looking at apartments yesterday. And I think we found something, but yeah, stay tuned. It's awesome. It's huge and it has a walk-in robe and two bathrooms. I mean, come to mama. <laughs> but yeah, and then I asked him this morning after me being so grumpy, if maybe we are rushing things and maybe this is a little bit too crazy and too fast. And he said, I mean, he understands the concern, obviously, because it is fast and everything. But he said he wants to be with me. And I want to be with him. So, and we are old. <laughs> so, what, what are we waiting for? So yeah, we are gonna do this. And, and you know, if it then, after we do it, it doesn't feel right, then we just do something else. Like, nothing is permanent, but for now, this is what we, sh what we should be doing. Here we have it, my happy place. I mean, hello, it is so, so, so pretty. So this is Bear Park in Elizabeth Bay. I absolutely love it here. And if we move to North Sydney, I won't have this anymore, but I will have other things. So get over it, woman. I don't know, I'm a little bit whingy today, I apologize. But here we've got some palm trees and it smells nice and I used to live in this building. Yes, best decision ever to come down here to my happy place. So the relationship guru is gonna speak to you soon, but not today. Today is not the day, but just, just yeah, up front. Um, you only attract things into your life that you are a vibrational match to. And I attracted him into my life and we are very similar and we both have the same understanding of things we're both very responsible for like what we create and yeah we're just at a similar stage in our lives let me just say relationships are not difficult if you are with the right person and i am he has so much patience with me when I'm grumpy. I have to say though that he was a bit grumpy also last night because we were all very tired. All of us, all two of us. <laughs> and he's cute when he's grumpy. I, I cannot be upset with him. How could I be upset with him? So yeah, there's no doubt. Like there is no better person for me out there. I believe that 100%, uh, yeah, 100% sure. And he thinks the same, that I'm also the person for him. The only thing, the only thing, if I would have to find something, and because I'm so negative today, I am finding something, is that I just really loved being responsible for myself only and not having to consider someone else in all my decisions. Like, for example, I really want to go to New York this winter. I mean, it doesn't look like winter right now, but it is winter and it's cold. Right now it's actually okay. But and New York, it's summer and it's so nice. Then New York is just my happy, happy place. I mean, this is also my happy place, but 
I really want to go to New York and I sort of cannot justify that because we might be moving again and there's a lot happening and financially like it's gonna be yeah a bit crazy if I go to New York it's possible anything is possible but it just feels weird leaving him behind and going to New York those are the things that I mean I can do whatever I want of course and he would let me go but it would just be it wouldn't make sense let's just put it that way so we might go together somewhere to Southeast Asia. Is the sun setting? Oh, it's happening. So yeah, we might be going somewhere together just for a few days. And that's fun too, right? It doesn't, I don't have to have everything my way all the time because that's what I'm used to. That's how it was the last four years. And it was awesome. <laughs> but that's over now. And it is replaced by something better, by making decisions together, supporting each other having each other's backs and having fun. He's a lot of fun to hang out with. So it's an adjustment phase. Let's just put it that way. It's, it's adjusting to it. There you have the sunset. So yeah, I'm adjusting. And it doesn't have to be super easy and like no problems whatsoever. And there weren't any problems. It's just of course I'm thinking and questioning things, which is good because if I question things and then come to the conclusion that this is the right thing to do, being with another person who is absolutely amazing, then, then it's good that I've questioned it because then I know. And I think I know. Oh, there's a cruise ship. sailing into the sunset or rather away from the sunset <laughs> mm -hmm. okay the sun has set it's gonna get cold now and it would give me another reason to winch so I'd rather head back and go to Priceline and buy myself things Nothing fancy, just hand soap. What else do I need? I forgot everything else, but there was something else. It will come to me, hopefully. So the sun sets at 4.30 and it's now the 9th of... Which yeah, month is it? Um, um, July. So the days are getting longer and we are heading towards spring again. So that's a good thing. Man, today I really have to remind myself of all the good things. It's one of those days I didn't have enough sleep. I'm grumpy. But I think the only thing you can do is just focus on the positive things. And then things will like get better. For example, that little beach here. This is one of those episodes that I'm doing for myself as therapy. Reminding myself and anybody who might be watching it that when you're in a bad mood, this is your responsibility. And it helps if you have a cute boyfriend who lifts your mood because he's cute and plays the guitar. Um, but yeah, it's your responsibility to get out of that mood. And the way, best way to do it is just to focus on something positive. And no matter how bad your situation is, mine wasn't bad at all to begin with. But <laughs> even if you're in a really bad situation, there will be something like the breakfast that you're making for yourself or a cup of tea or the sunshine or anything, just anything. And be grateful for that. Be happy about that and everything will get better. And now, where are we going? Ah, let's just go this way. Yeah, so no one else is in charge of your mood. Nobody's doing anything to you. Nobody is ever upsetting you because it's your reactions that upset you 100%. And your choice, who you wanna surround yourself with and surround yourself with 
positive like-minded people and it will make everything easier but even if you're with the perfect person once in a while you find something that you could react in a bad way and it happens i sort of expected a little bit more from myself i thought like i'm so zen now and nothing can upset me anymore but that was first of all because i was working on myself but second of all because i didn't have anyone close to me as soon as you have someone close to you and you really 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 care about them so much things will come up and they have but also we sorted them really quickly because i snap out of it quickly because i realized i mean come on i've got nothing to really complain about and it's no, no point to complain about anything anyway because you create your reality and by complaining you just create more of that negativity don't complain no more sunglasses needed so yeah to summarize you create your own reality I mean, i'm saying that to myself you create your own reality and if you whinge you create negativity if you focus on the positive things, and this is the whole reason why gratitude is so important. If you focus on the positive things, you get more of those. Because that's how you're vibing. Positive things and appreciation of things. That's something good, which draws more good things into your life. Because I was always wondering, people talk so much about gratitude and I didn't really understand why it's so important, but this is why. Just positive things, positive thinking. Okay, here is another beautiful, beautiful place. Elizabeth Bay House. It's even nicer when those trees have leaves again, which will happen at some stage. And beautiful views. Magnolias are about to do a comeback. And this little park and where I was walking just earlier, that's Billiard Avenue. There are some very, very fancy buildings here, like this one. Very cool. And like this one, it's not fancy, but I used to live here. I used to live here before I moved to Melbourne and I had a good time there, COVID lockdown. I was painting, I was uh, practicing my viola a lot, playing many hours a day, learning a very difficult piece called Bartok Viola Concerto and none of my neighbors complained. Not like now, when my neighbors make noise complaints all the time. But again, that's something I attracted into my life because I needed a reason to move in with the boyfriend, to find a new place with him together. So this little passageway goes from McClay Street down to Billiard Avenue. Not many people know about it, so keep this one quiet. <laughs> and this was the back entrance to my old building. So, so if you want to stalk me, you have to time travel back to 2019 up to 2021. Then you can stalk me in there. What's point? Where the cool kids live <laughs> and the rich people. So back in the day, King's Cross, Potts Point, this whole area was a little bit of like a drug and party and nightclub area but now it's all hipster hipster land very fancy buildings here have a look does this look like drugs to you no it does not i mean i guess you can still buy them here but i don't know <laughs> that's not why i live here i live here because it's cool also also shout out to youtube for helping me with my therapy. <laughs> Much cheaper than a therapist, just making a YouTube episode about it. Plus nothing really happened, I was just grumpy because I didn't sleep well. 
So yeah, if you have any tips, if you happen to be someone who used to need nine or 10 hours of sleep like I do, and then manage to train themselves to sleep less and still be happy, please, please write me a comment, explain to me how it works. I would like to sleep less. I want to have more life and less sleeping, but I don't know how. Please help me. <laughs> Mayday. Another very nice deli. So the boyfriend has a gig tonight, which means I will cook for him. And because he's so healthy, I cannot make pizza or something unhealthy. So now we are gonna buy ingredients veggies and stuff for a healthy curry. I need this. Alrighty then, heading home with my shopping to do a little bit of practicing, even though my neighbors won't like it, but I'm sorry, I'm still a musician and a YouTuber, of course. And then I will cook for the boyfriend who will come home hungry around 9 p.m. He's been out working, he had two different gigs today and I've had nothing today other than working on my t-shirts. And whinging. <laughs> but a little bit of a whinge once in a while is okay. You cannot always be happy. You need to know the contrast so that then you're happier when you're happy. <laughs> it's true, true story. So yeah, this concludes this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, YouTube, for being my therapist. <laughs> and here, thank you, Ibis, for a perfect ending to this episode.